Hurricanes are known for their mighty winds, but it's not their biggest threat. It's actually water. Along the coast, storm surge can level buildings. So a wave hitting a structure in a hurricane is like a getting hit with an SUV or something. It's, it, and it's happening every few seconds. And inland, the surge from a hurricane backs up waterways that are meant to carry away flooding. Of course, Houston, I'm sure you, got, you know, Harvey was <laughs> a very bitter memory, right? It's why researchers are racing to understand storm surge and ways we can build to better weather those storms. Can we get this better? But before we see how, we need to understand the threat we're up against. Storm surge is destructive and deadly. During Hurricane Barrel, seven feet of water was pushed ashore on Matagorda. That's about what this looks like right here. Now, compare that to Hurricane Ike in 2008, when nearly 20 feet of storm surge was pushed ashore on Bolivar Peninsula. It would be about the height of the top of these palm trees. The point is, every storm is different and they create different problems. That's why researchers at the University of Miami are creating their own storm surge to see how we can better protect ourselves. This is the ACES tank. It's a place where we can study the interaction of the air and the water. It's here where Professor Brian Haas and his team create Category 5 hurricane conditions. In here, we're making fundamental measurements of what happens right where the air and water meet in, in really high winds to help make those forecast models better. Using a giant fan system and wave maker, the Sustain Lab here at the University of Miami is washing away previous thoughts on storm surge. One of the, the key thing that we discovered in this, in this facility right here was that the wind, when it blows over the water, you would think that, there was a, that as the wind got stronger, it would uh, continue to increase at a certain rate. But what we found from our work here was that it, as it got to really extreme conditions, that it actually didn't quite keep going up as fast to slow down. What we found out here is now used in almost all the forecast models. So we're starting to better understand storm surge, but are we building better? That is something that is still not well reflected in our building codes. What do you mean it's not well reflected? Sir? Well, there's building codes say, if you're in a storm surge zone. There's building codes for wind. But there's not building codes for wind on, a, on the water in a storm surge zone or, and what the role the waves play in addition. That's exactly what's next for Brian and his team, putting wind, waves, and storm surge together and finding a way to help buildings survive. We're working towards that. We're not quite there yet.